Once upon a time, two monks named Tanzan and Ikido lived deep in the tranquil valleys and green rice fields of old Japan. It seemed like the sun never set on their friendship. Their relationship, which was shaped by the wisdom of Zen, showed how they were both on the same path to enlightenment. But their ideas were as different as the sun and the moon are from each other. On a warm day in the middle of summer, the monks chose to leave their isolated monastery and explore the big world outside. Their goal was as clear as the dew in the morning, to teach others the timeless wisdom of Zen. On their way, they came across a worn, wet road that was almost impossible to get through because of recent rain. They saw a beautiful woman in a silk kimono standing by the side of the road. She looked wonder and worried about the wet road ahead of her. Her brows were furrowed like a field that had been plowed. It was clear that if she crossed the road, her dress would get dirty. When Tanzan and Akito saw what was happening to the woman, there was a heavy silence in the air. Then, without saying a word, Tanzan moved forwards with such calm confidence that even the leaves moving in the wind were surprised. He asked the woman gently if he could carry her across the wet road. When she said yes, he gently picked her up and carried her across. When he got to the other side, he gently put her down and gave her a moment of thanks before continuing his journey with Akito. As they moved on, a strange strain crept into their quiet time together. Akito was fidgety, and his brows were knitted together in a thoughtful frown. Hours later, as the sun started to go down below the ink-stained horizon, he could no longer hold in his inner turmoil. Brother Tanzan, Akito said, his voice echoing the crackle of dry leaves under their feet, we monks aren't allowed to touch women, but you carried that woman in your arms. How could you break a rule so fundamental to our order? Tanzan was walking under a sky full of stars when he turned to his friend and said, I left the woman by the road. But you, Ikido, are still carrying her. Ikido was frozen for a moment by the cold wind of Tanzan's words. Then, all of a sudden, he realized that he had been carrying the weight of what Tanzan had done, ruining the beauty of the present by judging the past. With a lighter heart, Ikido looked up at the silver moon, and thought about what Tanzan had said. A sense of peace as big as the night sky spread through him, ending his inner fight in a gentle way. After that, Ikido learned to let go of his past actions and judgments, which made room in his heart for joy and peace to grow. Tanzan and Akito's journey down a muddy road led them to a surprising secret to happiness. In the big picture of life, their story continues to inspire people, and tell us that happiness doesn't come from dwelling on the past, or making judgments about it. Instead, it comes from fully living in the present moment. Living in the present moment brings happiness. Maintaining peace and happiness requires letting go of things we did or thought in the past. So, as we go through the ups and downs of life, let's remember Tanzan and Ikido's journey across the wet road, and the lesson it teaches us that will never change. For all we really have is this moment, which is as fleeting and precious as a dewdrop on a leaf.